Hello everybody, so today's video is going to be a review of the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay. I've always wanted this palette since it came out and Aubrey did actually give it to me for Christmas. So I have it here with me now. I've been using it for about, you know, just over a week. So I've literally used this every single day bar like a day or two and today's video is basically going to be a review of it kind of showing you the packaging everything swatches of it and also a uh, eye look on my eyes which is why I have no eyeshadow or mascara on right now so this palette is actually £39.50 from the Urban Decay website and um, basically in store wherever so when you get it it comes looking like this with the packaging and then you tip it out its main packaging and then it comes inside of this little pot with this kind of little something inside it and that's basically what it comes in. So I'm actually going to throw those two out now I film this video. And this is like the main packaging. It feels very sturdy and quite solid and good quality obviously because you know you want to have something good for your money. And then as soon as you open it up this is what it looks like so obviously you've got a mirror which I'm going to try not to kind of flash at you um, because it will blind you with these lights that are going on but you know um, so it comes with a little brush here which I'll kind of get out and show you because you know if you want to buy this you want to know what brush comes with so if I'm honest with you I haven't actually used this brush yet but this is what it looks like here it's like tiny this is one end of it it's a tiny little brush and it's actually quite dense which is why i haven't been using it because of how dense it is and then the other side looks like this and this is also very dense it's quite similar the fact it's so dense has kind of made me not really want to use it so much or even try it out so i'm not going to be using this brush in this video just because i've got used to using my normal brush and i kind of you know want to use that but I will be giving this a go at some point so it comes with that brush and then these are all of the shades i will go through them with you um individually swatching them all in a second okay so this is the palette as you can see it and these are all of the shades and you've obviously got some kind of more neutral shades up here and then a few kind of matte shades and then you've got your really nice shimmer shades there is quite a dark purpley color here i am going to swatch each of these shades in just a second to show you each one on my hand and how they swatch but this is basically what the palette looks like as a whole so the first shade in the palette is called ounce and it's basically like a really kind of nice shimmery shade. You can't really see that very much, but on the eye, it just kind of looks almost like a highlighter. So the pigmentation is not gonna be that strong because obviously it's just kind of a highlighty shimmery shade. The next shade along is called Chaser and that looks like this. As you can see, it's kind of not the most pigmented either because it's a transition shade, so it's not gonna be that pigmented and it's also a matte. My swatches here, I'm not kind of digging into the pan, I'm just kind of lightly showing it. But yeah, that's a transition shade. So this next one is the shade Sourced and as you can see, the pigmentation starts to kind of get a little bit more and this is basically also a kind of deeper, darker transition shade that you can kind of pop into the crease, which you'll see me doing in a second and this is also a matte. This is the shade Lobo, Low, oh my god, this is the shade Low Blow and it's basically like a caramelly kind of matte colour. These are like the mattes that you can use to kind of pop either one shade all over the lid or kind of build up like loads of different colours, but that is that one. Nice pigmentation. Now this is the first shimmery shade and this is the shade Lumber, so that's what this one looks like. And this is basically like a really kind of nice shimmery shade. It kind of looks like it's awful pigmentation, but it's actually not. It's because it's so shimmery that it doesn't really look like it's showing up. But yeah, it's a really, really nice look at that one. That's kind of one of the more popular shades. By the way, some of these names are really weird, but this one is called He Devil. And it looks like this. And it's basically kind of a slightly darker matte colour um, that you can kind of deepen the crease with or kind of pop all over the lid for like a nice kind of shimmery shade obviously very warm toned again another weird name this is in the shade dirty talk and this one looks like this and this one is pretty pigmented and also one of the more popular shades of the palette and this is a shimmer uh, and this is a shimmer shade again and it just kind of looks like that and it's got like a really nice sheen to it this is definitely one of the more kind of worn ones from me because i really like the shade of it okay so this is now the uh, this is now the shade scorched so I'll just pop that on. And this one is incredibly pigmented. You can see that there. 
look at that shine yeah that's a really kind of deep color but then when it hits the light it looks quite pale but yeah that's a really nice color there we've then got the shade cavana which looks like this and that's another matte shade and it's just kind of like a just a plain simple matte color in a way this is in the shade on fuego and it looks like this it is actually quite a deeper matte color um but you obviously using your finger doesn't really get that pigmentation when it's on a brush it is incredibly pigmented the second to last shade is ashes and it looks like this so it's more of a kind of darker purple shade again my swatches are awful but yeah it's kind of just a purpley kind of shade finally we have the most pigmented shade which is this one here as you can see that is incredible in pigmentation very dark and it is a shimmer shade so as soon as it hits the light it goes kind of like a different color but yeah that's that one and it's very very pigmented so from the swatches that I've done I think we've gathered that they're all quite like the pigmentation doesn't actually look that strong for some of them and I remember when this palette first came out everyone was like oh my god the pigmentation is awful but the actual swatches of them don't actually come out that strong and I think when you actually get this on your eyelid and when you're using a brush it is incredibly pigmented like one dab of the brush and that is too much for me so I think you can't really necessarily go by swatches for the pigmentation but the colour of them every single shade is different some of them do look kind of similar to each other but when you put it on the eyelid they're completely different so I think it's kind of like you have to go by what's going to go on your eyelid you're not going to be using this eyeshadows on your hand so I think it's that the proof is in you know me doing the eye look so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to go for today with these shades obviously there's so many different ways you can take it we can end up kind of doing a really purpley look it can be completely matte it can be kind of shimmery who knows what's going to happen but yeah we're going to test these out in terms of fallout because I thought I'd just mention this there is actually a lot more fallout than I thought there would be and basically if you don't know what fallout is if you're not really a makeup -y person it's basically when you put your brush into the eyeshadow and then loads of powder kind of comes off and just goes everywhere there is actually a fair amount of that from this palette but I think that's because the pigmentation is so strong so you kind of got to expect that so yeah anyway so I'm gonna bring you in a bit closer and we're gonna do a little eye look Sorry, the battery ran out, so we had some short um, problems, but it's okay now. We fixed that. Um, I had some issues, but I've sorted it out now, and I figured it out. So I'm going to be taking the shade Ounce onto my lid. It's like the nice kind of shimmery shade that I showed you earlier. Oh, God. Um, and I'm just going to like lightly pop that over the lid. It's slightly shimmery, so I'm going to pop a slight bit on. I just like to be super subtle with my eyeshadow. I don't like to kind of go all in. I like to build it up. I'm then going to go ahead and take the shade Chaser and just kind of pop that all over my lid, being very subtle. And then kind of taking that up to my sort of almost like my eyebrow bone because it's so subtle. I've recently learned that taking your eyeshadow quite far up actually looks really nice when you have hooded eyes because it means that, you know, you can actually see the eyeshadow. So now I'm going to go in with a transition shade and I'm going to use the shade Sourced and I'm just going to kind of lightly pop that in my crease. Again, when you're using a transition shade, you don't want anything that's going to be kind of too, like, heavy. Sorry, if you see why my eyes are watering, it's because the because I've been chopping some onions and suddenly now my light my lights are in my eyes and I'm just like not coping so I'm gonna pop that there I'm then gonna take the shade low blow and I'm just gonna pop that again also up here it's all about the transition and it doesn't matter if you're messy because then you can kind of fix it a little bit later on but it's all about transitioning and making sure you've got that kind of base up there and I know that sounds really odd but it's true I've been watching a lot of videos hi there Shut up. Tommy. right I'm now gonna take the shade hmm he devil and I'm gonna pop that kind of in the crease so it's not gonna be taken up it's just gonna go in the crease and I'm just gonna kind of pop that round Then on the inner corner of my lid here, I'm going to take Lumber. Just lightly pop that and then kind of take it over slightly, but focusing it on the inner part. Okay. 
Okay, then I'm gonna take the shade Dirty Talk and I'm gonna pop that on my lid. There's quite a lot of fallout with that one. And you can see it's super shimmery. But yeah, there is a lot of fallout with that one. And you can be quite rough because then you can go back in and blend it out. Um, I'm then gonna take the shade on Fuego and I'm gonna kind of put that in the crease and like blend everything together and that's because on Fuego is a matte shade so it kind of blends the shimmer and the mattes together. And I'm just taking kind of subtle amounts of this just so it's not too heavy. And then to finish off the crease, I'm gonna take the shade Ashes and that's like a super kind of dark purple shade and I'm just gonna take that kind of focused on the outer part, which is like this part here and then take it out slightly. Okay, um, and then just to finish off, I'm again gonna take that shade Sourced and I'm just gonna kind of buff out the edges slightly um, right here up at the top. Usually I put my brow highlight on after I've done my eyeshadow, but because I was filming this video, I put it on before. Oh, wrong shade. But yeah, the only issue with this palette is the fallout, but that's not really an issue for me. Like, I don't really care as long as the pigmentation is like really good. So that's kind of the eye look itself. It's kind of a mixture of loads of different colors together. Um, now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the shade Sourced and Low Blow, kind of the transition shades we used at the start and pop that under on the inside part of the eye moving to the outside so not this part here so the middle of the eye to the outside and then i'm going to take ashes which is the dark shade we used last and i'm just going to kind of put that on the edge very slightly because i don't like it to be kind of too heavy and then i'm gonna go above my lash line and i'm actually going to take ashes like a little line Kind of above and it just i don't know it just kind of like deepens the look a little bit if you do that and then i'm going to do this into the other side and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the shade ounce and i'm just going to pop that on the inner corner just using this kind of angle brush and kind of just Pop that in just to add that but little bit of shimmer. I never like in a corner like highlight to be. Have I got that in my eye? Oh no, that's just reflection. I don't like in a corner highlight to be kind of too strong because you know I don't want it to be too strong. Um, but anyway, we're gonna now take a blending brush and I'm actually gonna use the brush that comes with it to blend because it's nice and clean. So we're just gonna kind of blend out the edges like this and just up to the brow bone. And you might think, oh my God, eyeshadow up the brow bone looks really weird, but actually it doesn't. Like it blends out really kind of subtly and it doesn't look weird at all. Like obviously you can be the judge of that, but like for me it doesn't. And then kind of blending underneath slightly. So that's that eye and then blend the other eye. So this is the eyeshadow done for like my makeup look today it's really weird because i've actually zoomed the camera in but the quality is still really good um so i'm not kind of used to that but anyway so i've done and finished the eyes now this is how they look and i'm really happy with them obviously you can kind of use one shadow on its own i've just put a bunch of them together and showed what they all look like when you kind of build them all up pretty much um but yes there are going to be some more looks on my channel like using different palettes and maybe even doing another look using this palette kind of showing how you can kind of take it away from this this kind of typical you know naked heat palette look this is like the the typical look um but anyway so i'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then i'm gonna apply some mascara i haven't actually curled my eyelashes in a long time so here goes And now I'm actually testing out a new mascara. The mascara I'm testing out is the sleek um, little mascara that I got for Chris, uh, that I got for my birthday from my friend Leanne. So I'm going to try that out now and pop that on. This is when I ruin the whole look and get like mascara all over my eyeshadow and then have to wipe it off. 
I don't like to go too heavy with the um, mascara if I don't have winged eyeliner on. Like if I have winged eyeliner on it, then I think having quite a lot of mascara on is almost needed. Um, but when you don't, I quite like to go for like just a small amount. I never put mascara on my bottom lashes, but that is my makeup look. So I'll zoom you out and then final thoughts. Woo, we went the wrong way. So this is what the eyeshadow look looks like when kind of far away. You can see it's quite warm toned. I really like it with this jumper and this whole kind of purple look. This is basically what it looks like. And I really like the Naked Heat palette. It's really extremely good pigmentation when it comes to putting it on the brush. And the fallout is kind of, you know, a little bit heavy. But overall, I'm very impressed with it. And you can feel that the packaging itself is very good quality. Um, is it worth £39.50? Well... It probably is. In comparison to some like kind of really expensive things out there, to have a whole palette which can last you absolutely years and be so good, I think yes it is. It's definitely for a person that kind of really loves their warm toned eyeshadows. There's not really that many different looks that you can do with this in terms of kind of cool tones, that kind of thing. You have to kind of stick to the same sort of like variety and if you do mix them all together like me you're obviously going to end up with the same look every single day um but you can kind of make changes and make things different but yeah overall very happy with this palette and yeah i think it's my favorite one out of all of the naked palettes that i own um i own the naked one two and three and this one so very impressed so if you enjoyed this video i am going to be doing some more so please subscribe and stay tuned also if you want to go and check out my latest video then i will link it up here for you so just click on that you can go and watch it and also please subscribe here i will leave a little link for you to click on me just my little face there and you can subscribe to my channel so yeah i will see you in my next video goodbye